Hey, y'all, hey. So, I had a few questions in my inbox um, regarding a few things that uh, Edwin had mentioned. And the reason why I didn't cover it is because all that extra is not necessary for you to get a deletion. Um, it's just extra steps that uh, we learn from an attorney. Um, but if you, I feel like the most simplest and um, simplest way and the things to remember is when you're disputing with the credit reporting agency is you're looking for three things, inaccuracy, incomplete, unverifiable. So um, you can use one letter, um, just like Edwin was saying, go to chat GPT and type in, um, type in, you know, uh, write me a letter. Uh, shit, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> write me a letter letting the credit reporting agencies know that their information was inaccurate, incomplete, and unverifiable and go like that. So anytime you're disputing with the credit reporting, I'm going to still go ahead and go through it since y'all are asking questions, but I didn't go over it because I was trying to make it very simple. I didn't even want to go over the laws because you only need to know for the credit reporting agency, they have a, a set standard, inaccurate, incomplete, unverifiable. That's all you need to remember. And then I showed you on the credit report how you can detect inaccuracy, incomplete, whether it be the name of the company, that's not the company's name. If it was first premier, then it should be spelled out first, F-I-R-S-T, premier, okay? Not abbreviated. So it should be no abbreviations. I really tried to keep it simple so that it doesn't fly over people's heads because they feel like people will like to overcomplicate things and it's not that complicated. So anytime you're disputing with the credit reporting agency, three things, inaccurate, incomplete, unverifiable. You can put that all in one letter. As we learned from Edwin last night, you can put all the accounts as long as it doesn't um, go over 21. I have always just put five accounts each. So I would do multiple letters and I would just make sure that I put five and I would send them all together. It doesn't matter. It's, it's you. It's whatever you make it out to be. And then you would need to know what you need to do when they respond. So it's very important for you to keep your credit monitoring because if they respond as verified, and if, as I showed you yesterday, if that account number is still incomplete, if the name is still incomplete, it's still incomplete. Um, if the dates still don't match up, it's still inaccurate, you see? And so then what, their, what procedures did you use? You don't even have to use two different letters if you don't want to. You can use the same letter. Um, so the letters that I typed up for you guys the other day, let me bring it up. I gotta go to my Gmail. So the letters that I typed uh, for you guys yesterday, literally has it there. It doesn't matter what address you use because you have um you have proof that you sent it to them. Um so this one. To who it may concern, I recently reviewed my credit report and I identified inaccurate and incomplete information that should not be un included. Under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, you are required to use reasonable procedures to ensure the maximum possibility accuracy of the information in a consumer report. This is where you will put the name of the account, okay? The presence of these incorrect items on my credit report has caused harm. You're letting them know that it's harming you so that way you can get those damages, okay? And I'm requesting that you delete the inaccurate and incomplete information. You can add on, you can exaggerate here. You can say like, um, it is causing me emotional distress. I mean, shit, it do be causing you emotional distress. Because what the fuck? Like, say you like, you know, you 
Um, yeah, say you need, you know, I don't know, whatever. That shit is stressful whenever you get denied. And then what's cool about that, you get a denial letter in the mail later and you have proof of you not getting approved. You see what I'm saying? For their inaccuracy, okay? The presence of these inaccurate items on my credit report has caused harm and I'm requesting that you delete the inaccurate and incomplete information immediately. If you verify the disputed items, please provide detailed documentation on how the verification was conducted, including, this is just what I put. You can put whatever. The names and contact information of all employees involved in the verification process, evidence that traces back to the original creditors, including all letters, documents, and communications, copies of the relevant documentation sent or received during the investigation. If you cannot provide this information as required by the FCRA, you must delete the disputed information from my credit report. Please confirm in writing the requested deletions have been made uh, or provide the verification details as outlined above. Notice that I put verification details as outlined above. What is verification? If you wanted to put what verification was in here, then you definitely could uh, include the definition if you want to. I don't need to do all that because I don't want, I'm not going to overcomplicate something so simple. Oh shit, I want to fucking, it's sharing my screen. Why do I do that? Oh, sorry. Damn it. Hold on. Okay. Let's do it again. God damn. My dumb ass. All right. So here's the second letter. <laughs> All right. To who may concern? I recently reviewed the credit report and identified inaccurate and complete information that should not be included under the fair credit reporting. You are, to re, uh, you are required to use a reasonable procedure to ensure the maximum possible accuracy of the information in the consumer report. This is where I'm going to So give me a, I don't know, can you see? Um, let me do another, because I don't want to publicly disclose. Damn it. All right, anyways. So what I'm going to do, so I sent off the letters um, for, Big Equifax yesterday. Today I'm going to do um, TransUnion and Experian, and I have already requested this, 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 uh, last night, and I'm going to actually mail that off uh, this morning. Now, for me, uh, so last night I did not send uh, notarized. I really like to send all my notarized because it's free, but again, you do not, you absolutely don't have to do that, okay? Um, so if you wanted to include this definition of, uh, what verification is, you can go ahead and do it. I don't put no laws in there. That's just how I just speak. I don't need to do all that. I don't want them. This is my brain. And I'm not saying that they just do this. This is just my brain. I am a Virgo. My first thing is looking at the worst case scenario. As th that's the first thing that I look at the worst possible case scenario. So in my brain, if I'm telling you in the letter what A, B, and C means, I feel like as though that they can go back into and, and respond with those things already in there because I already told them and I exposed my hand. I'm not trying to expose my hand. So that's why I choose me, she, her, me, she, her, me, she, her, me, she, her. Do not put the laws in there. I don't put the laws in there. You already know that it has to be accurate. It has to be completed and you should be able to verify it. If you can't do these three things, what I got to go look up a law for. So I just really try to make it very simple and not get into all that. However, yes, please do your own due diligence and read. Um, I'm going to include, oh, I did. I included the FCRA, uh, the Fair Report, uh, Reporting Act and it's 15 U.S.C. 1681. So I want to, <coughs> go over this. Look, the term person means, um, yeah. the term person means any, uh, any individual partnership, corporation, trust, estate, cooperative, association, government or government or sub uh, subdivision or agency or other entity. 
Okay, the term consumer means an individual. Consumer report. Consumer report means any written or oral or other communication and any information. Oh, look, remember yesterday we said um, uh, what communication was. So the consumer report is <laughs> other communication. <laughs> oh, that's cool, okay. Uh, by consumer reporting agency, bearing on a consumer credit, uh, credit worthiness, credit standing, credit capacity, character, general reputation, personal characteristics, or mode of living, which is expected to be used or collected in a whole or in part of the purpose of serving as a factor, establishing the co consumer's eligibility for all this. Exclusions. <clears throat> now this is going to be um, some tea here. Exclusion. <laughs> a consumer report does not include report containing information solely as to transactions or experiences between the consumer and the person making the report. Hmm, that sounds like transaction or experiences. So that tells me like late payments should be excluded. It shouldn't be my transactions because I'm transacting business and my experience with this company. So you're reporting my experience, late payments, that should be excluded. That shouldn't even be on the credit report. But I don't wanna get into that because at the same time, you still have, it's still inaccurate, it's still incomplete, and it's still, you can't verify it. You see, inaccurate, incomplete, verify. Inaccurate, incomplete, verify. With the credit reporting agencies, that's it. Don't make it complicated. Uh, it's the name of the account. Okay, don't make it complicated. Um, I want to go. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Verification. The consumer continues to meet information of the credit insurance. Determine the consumer meets a specific criteria being the credit worthy insurance. I want to get to well. I I want y'all to see this part. Um. There it is, negative information. Notice to consumer required, okay? So a notice to the consumer is required. If any financial institution that extends its credit in regular and regularly in the ordinary course of business furnishes information to consumer reporting agency described in section 603P furnishes negative information to such an agency regarding credit extended to a consumer, the financial interest shall provide a notice of such furnishing of negative information in writing to the consumer. Y'all ever received a notice before they stick ne uh, negative stuff on your credit report? Because I know I never got no notice. Um, notice the effect of sub uh, subsequent submissions after providing such notice. So after providing such notice, the financial industry may uh, submit additional negative information to a consumer reporting agency described in section, section 603P with this respect to the same transaction. Let's look at the time of notice. The notice required under subsection A shall be provided to the customer prior to or no later than 30 days after furnishing the negative information. So they're supposed to tell you that they furnish this information and they don't do that. So going back to reasonable procedures, this is why I say you don't have to make it complicated. You don't need to know all this thing. It's still reasonable procedures. What reasonable procedures did you use to justify this action that you, that you did to me? And it's harmful for me. And then on top of that, it's wrong information. That's all you really, that's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. Okay. Uh, I don't have the, uh, the uh, hmm. definition. The term negative information means <laughs> any, uh, concerning custom, con a customer's delinquency, late payment, insolvency, or any form of default. <laughs> notice of notice required. Negative information. You see? But you don't need to know all that. Inaccurate, incomplete, and unverifiable. 
that's it. It's very simple. Okay, let me, so now, um, um, so now what, uh, what Edwin was talking about is you can go to, um, mm, sure. Why does it always do that? I mean, it doesn't always do that. Apparently, I'm doing it, but I can't remember to. Oh, it must be sharing screen. It is. No, it's not sharing screen. So, um, what Edwin was talking about, about the BBB. So, you could do uh, one of his was Capital One BBB. And um, go down here. And so this is their contact information. So you can find their address just in case you don't find it on your credit report. So this is the actual um, address. And then if you wanted to include the um, uh, Huh. Doesn't have it on this one. All right. So let me see. Job. So you know how I be telling y'all, like when you set up your businesses and stuff, y'all have y'all shit public. I'm able to, we're, you're able to look it up. So you see how you can see um, who the manager is, Erica, Jeffrey, you know, this this is you guys. Y'all are setting up these corporations and stuff like that, and um, I can find you. So this is why I, I be talking about privacy. Um, but this is what Edwin was talking about if you wanted to include this uh to me just to get just to get in the deletion you don't need to do all that i was just trying to keep it simple but um since i have so many questions um what edwin was talking about i'm just showing you right here so you know we're doing capital one the details um hmm. Hmm. But yeah, he was, uh, you can get it for the BBB, but the BBB didn't have one. So you'll have to take it up a step, a step up. However, you can also, let me see, where did I go? I guess I have to start all over. Capital One BBB. Another way you can do it is you can go to the Virginia. Uh, actually, it might even have it on the website. Let's see. Sometimes I'll have the pictures of the, you know, the chief executor or whatever and have all his information there. This is the president of the company. Sometimes they put that on the website. Um, and so you can just copy and paste that. This one doesn't have it. So um, in these instances, instances, you would just go to the Virginia Secretary of State um, and look up the information on the Secretary of State and it'll give you you should be able to find the president and stuff. And that's if you wanted to include the president and chief executor name. I, I don't do all that just for a regular deletion, um, but you definitely can. But I just wanted to expound on what he was talking about. Uh, this is 
Like whenever we're doing credit repair, we take the initiative and we go a little bit extra, an extra mile for you. Um, and this is something that he will be doing, you know, on your behalf uh, to get shit done. Do you need to do this? Absolutely not. You can just do it the basic ways. Remember, it's still uh, incomplete, unverifiable, and inaccurate. Okay, and you as a regular person, you're just letting the credit the credit reporting agencies know. Um, you absolutely like again, you absolutely do not have to get it notarized. I prefer to get it notarized only because I had looked up one time um, the procedures of going into court and. And this is back when um, we were going through the custody ballot and stuff like that or whatever. Um, Michigan's Michigan said that they wouldn't honor any regular paperwork. It would all have to be notarized in order for you to um, put it into the, the records or whatever. So that's why I just started notarizing. I'm not saying that it's all states. I'm not saying that you have to have it. And we confirmed with Edwin, Edwin yesterday that it does not have to be notarized. I'm just in a habit of notarizing things. Um, that's it. So I just wanted to come on here and <laughs> expound on that a little bit more. Um, so I'm actually getting ready to do inquiries. Um, I noticed that he had a bunch of inquiries on his, um, credit report and I didn't go over inquiries. Inquiries has to do with permissible purposes. purposes. If you don't choose to read, um, uh, it, you don't have to, but it's 15 U.S.C. 1681B. Um, and basically, long story short, share screen. Basically, long story short, I mean, of course, you know, read all this, right? And uh, remember I told you I, I uh, went over accounts and what account really means the account that they're speaking of is not anything that we have and they'll try to use this word to be able to say that that's why i um pulled your credit report but remember at the end of the day they have to they have to verify so if they don't have it in writing that you gave them permission to look at their credit report that's what they have to do they're going to have to delete those inquiries you see what i'm saying so like what reasonable procedures do you have set in place that I ha you have in writing that I said that they can look at my credit report? It all goes back down to inaccurate, uh, inaccurate, unverifiable, and incomplete. You see, it's the same thing over and over and over again. So as long as you know, at the end of the day, if they're telling, if they're giving you a no, all right, well, okay, I'm going to accept your no, but what reasonable procedures did you did you do to determine this no? You see? And they're not, most likely, they're not, they're going to tell you that they updated the credit report, but it's not updated. That's why it's important for you to keep your credit monitoring. You cannot expect a credit uh, a credit agent to do their job and you don't keep credit. This is, this is why I got out of the business because when I was doing it, People is not keeping their credit monitoring. So when it's time for me to go back, I have to chase them down and be like, hey, you need to update your credit monitoring. And then they'll take forever to do so. Like, yeah, I'm just going to sit behind my computer wait for you to uh, update it. Like, I got things to do too. If I work in between the hours of nine to five and you taking your good old sweet time and then you update it at 10 o'clock at night, I'm not expected to go towards your file. I'm moving on to the next person the next day. You was here, and that was like stressing me out. You know what I'm saying, y'all? They weren't keeping their credit monitoring. They didn't want to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like I was sending their uh, their their rounds out. Then they didn't pay. I continued to send their rounds out because I wanted to, you know, show them that hey, you know, uh, I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about the money, but that shit gets expensive. Y'all seen yesterday how much certified mail is? That's eight dollars per letter. You know what I'm saying? So like. Come on now, y'all gotta respect y'all's credit agents. Like, don't be doing that. That certified mail costs money. It's costing them. It's costing them money, and then y'all don't pay. Y'all don't pay them. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I continued, but I wasn't making the. I, I wasn't making enough. All that bag all work. Hell no. That's why I got out the business. That's why I trade. Um. So yeah. So I'm doing inquiries. Um, for him today, and um. Um, I got to type out the, well, not type out, but I'm just going to copy and paste what I gave y'all and send it to Letterstream. 
Um, and this is, you guys, is your administrative process. Um, you can even take it as far as, oh yeah, let me let me show y'all because I did not show that show that yesterday. Um, <clears throat> did not show that yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> well, first let me go here so that way you know where I got it from. Remember, I told you guys that. Um, share screen. That everything is a trust. Everything is a trust. It's either expressed or it's implied. So, um, an expressed trust, an intentional trust, is a trust created uh, voluntarily. And I will never be able to say that word right. By settler, also known as a trust or grantor, in express terms and usually in writing. It can be either private or public. The opposite of an express trust in legal term is an applied trust, which is implied by the circumstances. So what we're doing here is we are implying that there's a trust here. It's not, we don't have anything written down, um, but maybe the contract and you can use that as an express terms. But this is basically long story short an implied trust. It's, we're implying that there's a trust here. So when I say that, uh, when you actually know what position you are, uh, you are, and you do your administration process, and they do not perform, right? So performance is what based on equity. See how we're going back to equity. He creator keeps saying, "Just look, I'm here, I'm here, motherfuckers, I'm here." You know what I'm saying? But we keep just looking past him or her, whatever you believe in. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's see. Let me try to find it. Give me a moment. Hmm. Let's scroll down here to. Can I just? I wonder if I can just type it in. Mm -mm. It'll be breach. I know y'all. I'm not. I know that I'm not. Um. Sharing my screen. Ooh, shit, 108. Okay, let me see. Let me. Breach of trust, compel. Let's see what I got with the hates. Hold on, let me see. Impose a lien. Maybe I'll say that. Aha, there we go. All right, share screen. I'll be remembering what the fuck it say. All right, so I'm not telling you this is what you should do. I'm not saying this. I'm just saying what I be doing, um, because I don't have time to go into the courtroom. I don't. I don't have time that we. I, I just don't have the time. So remedies of a uh, breach of trust, a violation by a trustee or due uh, that the trustee owes to a beneficiary is a breach of trust. Okay, to remedy a breach of trust that has occurred or may, or may occur, the court may compel the trustee to perform the trustee's duties and join the trustee from com uh, committing a breach of trust. Compel the trustee to redress a breach of trust by paying money, restoring property or other means. Um, order a trustee to account, appoint a special fiduciary to take possession of the trust pr property and administer the trust, suspend the trust, remove the trustee as provided in section 706, reduce or deny compensation to the trustee, subject to section 1012, void and act of the trustee, impose a lien or constructive trust on trust property or trace trust property wrongfully disposed of and recover the property or its proceeds. Now it goes a little bit deeper, you know, with this proceeds because if you're a secure party, right, and you're securing your intellectual property, like your credit report, you would be entitled to those proceeds. So it goes a little bit deeper, and you probably would need to be in trust to understand where where I'm coming from. But this is what I most likely do is is I impose a lien. So when I sent my letters out, you know, and they're not doing what I asked or I may not even get that deletion, instead of me always going to court looking for $1,000 or more, I would just place a lien. And then what I'll do is I'll write that off as a uh, bad debt. So that way they receive 
a 1099, right? And they would have to they would have to charge that. They would have to put that as income, right? And I can take it off of, of my account. So there is, I believe it's um 501, and that is um, you know, you can't you're not able to collect that bad debt. So you can do it as a tax matter. So there's different strategies that you can use. You don't just have to um do it one way. I'm not saying that don't do it. I'm just saying there's another way of doing the same thing. Okay. Cause I don't always have the time to go to court. Um, and then sometimes court can take forever. So you never know, like it could be, you know, it can be done in a week. You may not have to go to court to six months. I mean, you never know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just, you know, they might reschedule. I don't know. I ain't got time to deal with all that. That's just me personally, but I usually get deletions before I even have to, uh, uh, to get to this point, it it, sh it should not take you six months <laughs> to have any type of results, especially with debt collectors. That thirty days at least, um, you should get a response. And and it, as we read the other day, they shall see. Huh? Oh, okay, Edwin. Um, yeah. So I'm 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 recommending um Edwin. Like I said, we took the same class, uh, same attorney, um, and he's been doing this for a long ass time, as well. I you know I got out the credit. I wasn't making no money off of it. it wasn't trading for me. That's how I make my money. I don't like depending on nobody. <clears throat> and then y'all wanted me to be professional and talk all white and shit, and that's just not me. I'm not gonna be fake, and be fake for a business no i'm gonna be me I, I don't like that shit so i'm gonna make money regardless and i'm gonna say what i want to say i say what i want to say all right back so um like i said i was doing inquire and doing his inquiries today um you can even call you don't have to do a letter but you know it's saturday and i'm too busy during the week there's no way that i'm gonna call so I'm just sending out their letters and I'm going to be looking for, you know, they probably won't take it off, but I'm looking for that. What procedures do you have? Because he didn't sign anything saying that it was okay for them to check their report. Um, for me, I do in waves. You don't have to, you can send everything all at one time. I do in waves. So that way there's, there's no way that I get a no. Right. So if, I change up the address to LexisNexis first, right? The credit reporting agencies would ha would have would not be able to go to LexisNexis to even try and verify because that's why LexisNexis is there. All they do, all the big three, all they do is go to LexisNexis and and be like, "Hey, you got this information? This public information? Yeah, I got this public information. Boom, verify." That ain't even reasonable procedures. What the hell? But if I clear up Lexus Nexus all the way, there's nothing for them to go verify. Some of these accounts are attached to the addresses. You know what I'm saying? They don't even go as far. They're just looking at addresses and then they send you something random that it's verified. So um, that's just what I do. That's I, that's why I feel like Lexus Nexus is very important. Um, check system is very important. Um, if you don't have a list, what you can do is um, you go to the share screen. Go to the CFPB. Go to the search bar. Type in Dang, man, I wish my um TikTok was still up. Uh, I went through all this. Like this one person was trying to tell me that Lexus Nexus wasn't a credit reporting agency, but Lexus Nexus was under the list under credit reporting agencies. Like, shut the fuck up. Um, look, list of consumer reporting uh, companies. Um ugh, man, why do they always want me to download some shit? And it'll give you a list. Scroll down. Oh, look, look at that. Anyway, you have the right to request corrections on your report. Look at that. They even give you a little thing. And matter of fact, um, uh, there's a link in the Google that I, t I, I, I gave y'all. Where's 
right here, template letter from the CFPB. They even give you a little letter, y'all. So how, how easy is that? Yeah, we don't be looking, honey. Um, okay, now I done lost uh the CFPB. <laughs> don't judge me. There it is. All right. So look, all these um credit reports, I mean consumer reports. This is what they use for employment screening. They tell you, look at that. Okay, these are all a list of consumer reporting agencies. Social intelligence. Hmm. Wonder what the hell that is. Background screening, tenant screening. Huh. I need this information right here. Because um yeah, I need that information. Leasing desks, safe rent solutions, trend using transunion rental screening solutions, check and bank account screening. So if you never paid your oh shit, it's not screening. My bad. All right. So yeah, I'm just CFPB. Went to CFPB, went to search and did credit reporting. Uh, agency list and you click on the button and you click download and it'll come it'll pop up so this is checking a bank screening so these are all the credit report reporting agency look check system so you have bad checks do any people we write checks anymore well back in the day if you had bad checks you'll be in the check system so this is what you would need to dispute with the these are credit reporting agencies so because they're credit reporting agency they have to abide by the same law there is no difference it's inaccurate. It's incomplete. How did you verify it? Okay. You just change it. Check check system. Look, the address is right here. Okay. Address right there. Uh, early warnings, warning systems. Telecheck. Personal property insurance. Look, it just te it tells you. So like if you got a personal matter, you know what I'm saying? You go on here and look, okay, I got, I got check so i got whatever your issue is i mean it's hard to determine your issue because like i i mean like i, I would never i would never use this because i never had any personal property insurance i don't even know if i should be having insurance look lexus nexus this is auto property this is like auto um medical so <laughs> mib so you know how, oh, excuse me, sorry. Dang, when does this cough go away? It's been what, three weeks since I had COVID, two weeks? Um. So MIB, you know, when you get life insurance and you're um, not approved for life insurance, they're looking at this MIB report. So you would pull your MIB report and see what's on there and then you can dispute it, okay? So life insurance agencies would have, I mean, agents, you know, it would be kind of badass to know how to um, fix a credit report because this can be like an extra form of income, okay? You didn't get approved. Let me see why you didn't get approved. Let's pull your MIB report and let's get it straight. That's another source of income, I'm just saying. Um. So yeah, so there's a whole list of credit reporting agencies here that you can look at whatever regarding your um situations if you don't know what it is it tells you who they are look lexus nexus collects information from public records okay so this is why you can go to lexus nexus and opt out like i said however you know sometimes you if you don't opt out lexus nexus is kind of a good thing and you can get those offers in the mail because if it's an offer, then that means you can just accept the offer. Why do you have to apply? Um, but if not, you know, you don't want to handle all that, then you can opt out from them selling your information. Um, you can send them a notice and be like, do not sell this information. This information now belongs, it's trust property. Okay. So you see how it looks. Sage Stream, Lexus Nexus owns Sage Stream. Remember I told y'all, like, this is all in black and white. I don't be doing no shit made up. 
utilities. If you have stuff for utilities on your credit report, you'll go here and dispute it. Um, so if they're always coming back verified, again, they don't have reasonable procedures, but if you want to backdoor and hit these hit these other data first, so that way the big three doesn't go to them and be like, okay, this is you know verified, you could. I mean, do what's best for you, but the information the addresses will be here. Um, oh, they even have a security freeze, you know, and you dispute it in the same way, you just change the name. Um Retail, I'm assuming that that's like if you have retail credit cards and stuff like that. These are what, these are the companies that house those, you see? Okay, so inquiries, permissible purpose. Um, show me proof that you have in writing that, you know, I said that you can look at my credit report. They don't have it, then, you know, that's that's a violation and you can get money from that or you can get it deleted. I ain't money hungry. I just want the deletion. If you don't deletion, then I'm going to come after you because now I got to do extra. That's how I look at it. But I mean, to each his own. Um, I just want the damn deletion. Like, leave me the hell alone. I don't want to have to go through all that. I don't like going through shit. So <laughs> that's just me. But yeah, so I'm going to add an inquiry on this template. And then um, I'm going to add the debt collection and then yeah that's it uh so yeah if you were in the zoom you got it if you weren't uh shit out of luck should have been on the zoom or you can't um yeah whatever i don't care i don't give a shit it's just a fucking letter <laughs> yeah i don't give a shit so since i don't give a shit let me just share the whatchamacallit the whatchamacallit Hey, I don't be sticking to what the fuck I said. If I said to be on the goddamn Zoom, you'd be on a goddamn Zoom. Here I am sharing a goddamn living the next little the fucking day. Too goddamn nice. Here, goddamn me shit. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to add to it. I'm going to add to it since I'm still doing it. I'm bored. You yeah, about to go to sleep. You ain't shit for me to do. I really want a book. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do today. I need to be relaxing and get off the bag on computer. I'm always reading, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it. All right, y'all. So yeah, if y'all have any questions, hit me up on my DM because this is what I'm doing like literally right now. Oh, I can actually stay on. Um, I can actually stay on here and just do it. Should I just stay on here? Yeah, because if I stay, if I stay on here, then I'm actually do it. Now watch me. If I get off here, then I'll be like, ah, I do it tomorrow. Okay, yeah, let me do it right now. All right, so inquiry letter. Do I already have an inquiry letter? Hold on, let me search my computer. I already have one. I'll just use that. Let's see. Uh, my computer had uh, shut down whenever it shut down. And most of my stuff was, uh, is on my last computer. So I don't know what I, I don't, I don't know what I had. You know how in my head, like, I know that I have it, but it'd be on the other computer, and I'm like, damn, it's on the other computer. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do? Mm. Let's see. I don't have an inquiry letter. All right. So, I'm going to make one up. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know I have an inquiry. I do have an inquiry. It's in, and it's in my document. So hold on, let me go to my documents because I know I have one. I just got to figure out where I put it. Um, how do I get to? Let me exit all that and go back to Gmail. Okay, go to, I think I have documents in this one too, docs, let me see. Do, do you trust, 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 assignment, trust, damn, lawful money, assignment of trademark, 
Oh, I just put all this in the Patreon. Why do I even know I have all this? Oh, that's my certificate. Oh, hmm, I think I would like that certificate. I think that was edible. Okay, here we go. Aha. Aha, ha, ha. I do have an inquiry letter. Yep, I have an inquiry letter. Okay, so I'm about to open this and boom, boom. La 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 la. I'm going to. Up and a copy. Bop, bop, bop. And case that. Where is my yeah. put that into the y'all's documents? And this is under my ink yeah. documents. Okay, uh, credit class. Boom. And template address incomplete last 30 days. I'll just put it here. Template inquiry. Move that into the middle of the screen. And we paste. There we go. Take that little line out. And boom. Okay, that's there you go. All right, so now I'm going to take this the same letter. I'm going to take this same letter and I am going to go on letter stream. Wait, first let me open up a Word document so I can put in that information. Okay, so I'm going to open up Word, Word. And I'm doing this because I can't um, um, put the information. Okay, so paste. Boom. I'm going to make this one. Oh, I can't see. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Today's date is 8-24-23, and put his, and the reason why I don't care, y'all, you have seen this address is because we don't really stay at this address. It's just where mail comes. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up his credit report again because I need the dates that it was accessed. So that was my credit. And I'm going to share screen in a minute. There's just really no reason for me to share screen. Let me log into his report so I can get the dates. Make the fucking password. Shit. There we go. View now. All right. Do, 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 do. 
waiting for it to do its thing. Come on now, damn. Reports. Switch to classic view inquiries. Six inquiries. Now remember, you do not want to dispute a credit card, I mean, a, an inquiry for the accounts that you want to use. So if it was a good account, um, then I don't want to dispute that account. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to take off the inquiry of that account because sometimes if you take off the inquiry, it can delete that um, account. And so there's some of them that, you know, I don't want to delete. So I know for a fact I need this one gone. And I'm just going to copy and paste. Oh, wait, no, that's y'all's. Where's my word? Word. Okay, so. So I'm going to do what Edwin does and puts all of them on there. So. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change it up the wording. So on my wording, I'm gonna say on a few occasions. Corporations. There we go. Access my consumer report from I'm gonna take that out. period, without my consent, without permissible purpose. Let me change that spelling. And now I'm just going to add the accounts. So paste. And look at my credit, go back. Now, first premiere, there we go, first premiere, copy, paste, make sure you add the, uh, oops, what, do, what did I do? First premiere, bam. And again, you can um you can you can call if you want. Just go bang. Just copy and paste. Copy and paste. Capital one. It's a charge off. Copy and paste, copy and paste. Then I'm just going to dispute this off of uh, Discover. Oh, I'm missing Merrick. Okay, let me go find Merrick Bank. There it is, Merrick. And it's not even bank, that's incomplete. Just saying. Boom, boom. Case done. All right. So we got that. Got his name. Read that. Name, subjects. Gonna bold that. All right. So now I need. Remember, don't sign, just always type. Okay, now I'm just going to copy this. So we're going to go to letter stream. All right, now I'm going to share my screen. Get to letter stream. Let me log in.
Okay, so his uh, the one that we did yesterday has not generated a, a tracking number. It'll it'll track it in a minute. All right, so let me share my screen, and we can create a new job. I already have this in my thing, so it's nothing that I need to do extra. So I'm just going to look for. Amplifax. What happens? What happens? I never tried this. Amplifax experience. I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try something new. Equifax experience and don't have transient. I'm about to try something new, y'all. Cause I'm like, it's letting me click multiple. I wonder if I can send it multiple with just, you know what I'm saying? Just one time. Let me see. Let me see what it do. Well, let me see. So remember, y'all can always upload it. I don't like to upload it because I ain't trying to download it into no PDF and stuff like that. So I'm just going to paste, uh, paste it in here. Okay. All right. And um, save my letter. And then I need to add a document. All right. So this part you can't see because um, I have to upload his actual driver's license. So hold on. Let me update. Choose file. Where is his ID? La 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 la. <coughs> David's ID. Go upload his ID. Upload, add to mailing. And then it's going to take me to like cropping the ID. So y'all can't see this part because of, uh, of course it's his ID. Yay. There we go. Oh, I'm just cropping it. And then on the side, it'll pop, it'll pop up that it was saved successfully. I can't see what I'm doing when they pop up. Boom, crop it. Oh my God, it does it all at the same time. So you can just put the addresses of um one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, wow. I did not know it can do that. So you don't have to go back and forth. I could have just did all this last night, y'all. That is freaking good to know. <gasps> yes look so you just do it one time uh, let me share my screen look at that you can do it one time so go look at the last video when i was showing you how to do letter stream but on this one uh you can click it so you put equifax experian transunion lexus nexus whatever you put that in the address box and you can click it and then send one of your um your your letters, upload it, upload your ID, and it's gonna send it to all three of them at the same time. So you don't have to go back and then you're fucking done. What the heck? 
I did not know that. Oh my God, I was making it more difficult than I had to. Oh my goodness, look at that shit. Cannot believe it. This is very exciting. I removed the certified link because I don't want I don't want them to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hurry up. I kind of do want them to take their time. So I'm gonna continue the payment. And then um for it's gonna cost $26 for all of them to ma be mailed out because it's certified mail. So you just complete the payment and let me stop share so I can put in a credit card. Damn, his shit didn't say because I showed I want to lose use my shit. I don't want to use my money. You don't have to pay me back. All right. All right, and then you should get your receipt and you're done. And you're done. Look at that shit. I did not know. I did not know, y'all. You can put all of it at one time. Uh, I did not know that. That That's really exciting for me. All right, so done. All inquiries are off. Certified mail. You have a tracking number. Um, that's it. Perfection. We're done. All right. Um, I'm going to go find something to do, I guess. All right. Bye.